Hey everyone, it's your favorite movie and TV show reviewer here, and today we're diving into the series finale of the hit medical drama, The Good Doctor. I know you've all been waiting with bated breath to find out how the story concludes for Dr. Sean Murphy and his friends at St. Bonaventure Hospital. Will the writers tie up all the loose ends, or will we be left with a cliffhanger that leaves us all feeling frustrated? Let's find out. First, let's talk about the background of this show. The Good Doctor has been captivating audiences for seven seasons with its unique premise. The series follows Dr. Sean Murphy, a young surgeon with autism and savant syndrome, as he navigates the challenges of his medical career and personal life. Along the way, we've been treated to in-depth storylines, intriguing medical mysteries, and a cast of characters that we've grown to love. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of the season seven finale. I have to warn you, there will be spoilers ahead, so if you haven't watched the episode yet, you might want to click away now. The finale picks up after a series of devastating events in the previous episodes. Dr. Asher Wolke, a beloved character, was brutally murdered in a hate crime, leaving his partner Jerome and best friend Dr. Jordan Allen devastated. Then, in the penultimate episode, Dr. Claire Brown returns with a breast cancer diagnosis, and Dr. Aaron Glassman reveals to Sean that his cancer is back in terminal. Talk about a gut punch. But somehow, the writers manage to cover every storyline in the finale and provide a satisfying conclusion. Sean struggles to accept Glassman's diagnosis but eventually comes to terms with it after Lee encourages him to make the most of their remaining time together. Meanwhile, the team races to save Claire from a life-threatening infection, ultimately making the difficult decision to amputate one of her arms. When an experimental treatment is discovered, Sean and his protege Charlie are shut down by the FDA, but Glassman, who doesn't have to worry about keeping his medical license, decides to give Claire the treatment himself. Then, the episode flashes forward 10 years, and we see an older Sean giving a TED Talk as the chief of surgery. Behind him, a screen scrolls through the names of every patient he's saved over the years, ending with Claire's name. We see that Claire survived and has started a family with Dr. Jared Kulu. Other characters also get their moment in the sun, with Dr. Audrey Lim taking on a role with a Doctors Without Borders type of organization, Jordan reconnecting with her love Danny Perez, Dr. Alex Park, and Dr. Morgan Resnick adopting baby Eden, Tad and med student Dominic starting his own medical practice. But the most touching moment comes when Sean reflects on the impact that Glassman had on his life. We see Sean riding a merry-go-round with Glassman and then alone, signaling Glassman's passing. Sean explains that none of his success would have been possible without Glassman's love and guidance, and he reveals that he and Claire have co-founded the Dr. Aaron Glassman Foundation for Neurodiversity in Medicine to honor his memory. In conclusion, despite the heartbreak and tragedy of the final season, the good doctor managed to deliver a gratifying conclusion for each character. The series ended on a hopeful note, showing us where each character ended up and how they continued to touch lives in their own way. It was a beautiful tribute to the power of mentorship, friendship, and the resilience of the human spirit. So, what did you think of the series finale of The Good Doctor? Did it live up to your expectations or were you left wanting more? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more TV show and movie reviews. Until next time, this has been your favorite entertainment guru, signing off.